Hello, my name is Heather. I'm an oil painter and a mixed media artist. Today I'm going to show you how to make a folio journal using two paper bags from the grocery store. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos. And let's get right to it. So the first thing you're going to need is two paper bags from the grocery store. Now we're going to take our first bag and we're going to collage on the front, just simple collage, whatever you like, with different types of papers. Okay, then the next step is you want to bring in your second paper bag. You want the opening to be facing towards the spine, and you're going to take a glue stick and glue that down. And you want to make sure that you leave a little space where your spine is so that it will, you know, the book will close. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to take these beautiful papers, and I believe these papers are from Artie May's kit. I've had them a while, and I'm just now getting to using them. But I believe it's Artie May's. She's got some really cool kits. And then I'm going to put this beautiful image on the right side. Now I'm going to create some pockets. And um, these are just file folders. And I'm just going to cover them with some paper. And I'm using Create Scotch Glue Stick to glue these papers down onto the file folder. Okay, then I have taken them to my sewing machine and sewn around, and now I'm going to glue them down onto the bag. 
On the top one, I'm only gluing on each side, not the bottom. And on the bottom pocket, I'm gluing on three sides. Then I'm gonna come over here to the right side and glue two more pockets down. In the top pocket, I'm just gonna glue the two sides and the bottom pocket, three sides. Okay, then the next step is I've got this beautiful coffee dive paper and I'm gonna cover the underneath part of these hidden pockets and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make little hidden pockets back here so I'm just gonna use this as the background. Okay, so the next step is I'm gonna create the pocket. I'm gonna take some art glitter glue. I'm gonna glue on the top and the bottom of this uh, flap and then glue that down. And that's gonna create a really cool secret pocket. And I'm gonna do the same thing for both sides. Okay, and then this is when you take the right side and fold it in. This is the top cover of that. And I'm just gonna put a few pieces of this beautiful coffee dyed paper down just for background because I'm gonna be putting a waterfall notepad on top of this. So the next step is I'm going to create a waterfall notepad. What I've done is I've cut out a piece of cereal box that is the size um, that I wanted to put on top of that page that I was just showing you. Then I'm going to rip up the papers to fit the cereal box size. And then I'm just going to fold the papers and create a waterfall effect. Then I'm gonna get my tiny attacher and staple the top. Then I'm gonna get some Fabri-Tac glue and glue that onto my cereal box. Then I got this pretty uh, piece of flower lace. Oh, I think that's lace or like trim, 
Maybe it's Trim. I'm not sure. And then I'm going to set that to the side and let it dry. And then I've cut out another piece of cereal box that's going to fit the inside um, flap. And I'm just doing some simple collage on the front. Okay, and then I took it to my sewing machine and I sewed all around it and I'll show you where this is going to go. We're going to put this in the middle and I'm going to create a pocket here with this. I decided I want to take a piece of washi tape and put it over uh, this flap at the top just to create, just to make it a little more sturdy. And if you're going to use washi tape, I recommend you use glue on your washi tape to make sure that it sticks. Then I'm going to glue this on three sides and create a pocket. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little uh, secret journal to go into one of the pockets. And this is a page for my Birds and Cherry Blossoms kit. And I'm just going to do some stenciling on the back. Then I'm going to fold it in half and then I've just created a little signature of coffee dyed paper. Then I'm going to take some wax thread and thread it together. I'm going to punch three holes. The wax thread should be three lengths of the, of the journal. You're going to go in the middle hole, up the top hole, back through the middle hole, through the bottom hole, and then tie a good knot. I'm going to put a, a really pretty piece of lace here just to give it the journal a little more character. And I'm going to create some pockets for the front and the back of this little journal, which will hold some journaling cards. Okay, so now we're back to the folio journal and I'm going to put two pieces of coffee dyed to paper on the top and the bottom just to kind of cover all the edges. And then I'm going to get my waterfall notepad and I'm going to glue that in the middle. And I'm using Fabri-Tac glue to glue this down. Okay, so in the paper bags on the top and the bottom, there are like little openings 
where the bags fold and I'm gluing those down. The like little creases on the sides, glue all of that down. And I'm using art glitter glue to glue those down. Okay, and now I'm gonna work on the cover. I got this die cut from BB Craft. I will have the link in the description box where you can purchase it. I love this. Um, it cuts out these beautiful little hearts around the edges, it's so pretty. I'm using Fabri-Tac glue to glue it down and then around all the little hearts, I am using my art glitter glue because it has a little point and it's a lot easier to get it covered without making a crazy mess. And I'm gluing that down on a piece of burlap. I have this beautiful piece and I'm going to glue it down with Fabri-Tac glue. And I'm gluing this down on the cover. And I'm taking my focal point and gluing it down with Fabri-Tac glue. Okay, the next step is I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to go over the papers that are showing and just seal it. I'm going to do this on the front and the back. Okay, then I'm gonna get my crocodile and in the middle, I'm gonna punch a hole. I'm gonna put a little eyelid in there and then use my crocodile to kind of punch it in there. Then I have two pieces of sari silk and I am gonna put them through the front and tie a little knot Okay, and here is the final folio journal. I'll go slow because it's really big and I can't get it all in the camera. Here is the front. And here is the back. And I have some pretty little charms um, in the front, a key.
a little pink rhinestone on the front charm and a butterfly. Okay, then you open it up and it's full of ephemera on the left side. You have a waterfall notebook right in the front. The pockets are full of journaling cards. They've all been sewn around. And there is a little journaling card right here in the side pocket. And I'm going up and down because you see how large that pocket is. So you can put lots of stuff in there. Then you open it up and on the right side, there is two pockets full of goodies. And then in the middle, there is a pocket and this envelope will be full of goodies for whoever buys this journal folio. Then in the pocket behind there is a journal. And it is full of uh, coffee dye paper and it has a journaling card in the front and the back. And that goes like in the secret pocket in the back. I love that because you wouldn't even like know it was there. It's like a little secret pocket and I love secret pockets. Then when you fold, oh, and here is a little secret pocket as well with a journaling card. Then when you fold it over in the back here, there is another journal. With journaling cards and coffee dyed paper. Great little writing journals. And then that just fits back in this little secret pocket, which I love. I think it's really cool. That is my folio journal. This will be available in my Etsy shop if you're interested. I hope this has inspired you to create a folio journal. Um, there will be a, a supply list and Amazon links in the description box, along with the BB Craft link for the little die cut that I used on the cover. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!